In today's video, we are going to explore how to use ChatGPT more effectively. I'm going to teach you 10 tips that's going to help you to get better outputs from ChatGPT. And it all starts with giving the right input. Now, the input is also known as prompting. You're going to prompt ChatGPT with either a question or a task that it needs to complete. And with doing that in the correct way, you will get much better results when using ChatGPT. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Joy Nicholson, and this channel is about helping you to use AI authentically and ethically, and even more so important, not to replace human connection. Before I dive into the top 10 tips, please do me a favor, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification so you don't miss out on future videos. Number one is to be clear and specific. You want the context to be detailed. For example, you're not going to say to ChatGPT, explain to me digital marketing. That is very, very vague. Instead, what you should say is explain digital marketing in 2024 for small business owners. That is a lot more context. This way, ChatGPT doesn't give you the broad spectrum, but it actually go into more core detail of the input that you have given it. Number two is to ask for step-by-step -step instructions. So for example, you're starting to grow your own vegetables but you're not exactly sure how to grow corn or tomatoes or whatever that vegetable is that you are growing, then you can say to ChatGPT, provide me with step-by-step -step instructions on how to grow corn or how to grow tomatoes. And you can go even more detailed than to say how to grow sweet, juicy tomatoes or how to grow corn that I can create popcorn with or whatever that is, because it will obviously provide you with a different kind of corn kennel. And that is how you can use the step-by-step -step detailed instructions. Number three is to set the desired format. For example, you can say to ChatGPT, provide me with a list of top five vegetables that I can grow in Australia in summer. You can even go as far as to say, put it in the table format and add how much water it needs per season or how much feed or what pH the soil should be, etc. All of these things can be put out in the desired format. You can do bullet points, you can do lists, you can do table, etc. Number four is to provide purpose and context. For example, I'm writing a blog post on ethical AI. Please provide a list of examples and also key points. Number five is to use comparisons and analogies. If you have a very complex matter or a very complex topic to discuss with a group of people, then what you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to explain the topic. Say, for example, it's blockchain and you want to explain this topic to the group of people, then what you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to simplify this topic so much so that a 10-year-old can understand it. Number six is to ask follow-up questions. Never hesitate to ask follow-up questions for ChatGPT. This just ensure that you will get more information out from that. You will get deeper responses and actually more clear responses as well. So it is very important to ask those follow-up questions based on the prompt that you have done. We also call this a follow-up prompt, and this is a really great way for you to dive in deeper in the specific topic that you are discussing with ChatGPT. Number seven is to request examples. So you would ask your ChatGPT to give you examples to illustrate the point. For example, we are going to sell event tickets. And for these event tickets, what is the best call to action? Give me some examples of that. Or I am writing an email on XYZ. What is the best call to action for that email, etc.? Number eight is to experiment with rephrasing. So sometimes ChatGPT can hallucinate and it doesn't really give you the desired outcome that you ask. So what you need to do is you need to just literally rephrase the way that you are prompting this question. Or most importantly, what you can do to get a better answer is to simplify it. Sometimes all it takes is to take one question, break it up into little parts, and you will have a much better response. Number nine is to set the time frame. It is important to make sure that you have the latest information. And a simple hack to do this is you say to ChatGPT, for example, what is the latest fashion trend in 2024 or 2022 or whatever that looks like for you. But setting the time will ensure that you get the latest and best information. 
Number 10 is to ask for a summary. So if you are doing a topic that is very long and it's lengthy and you don't want to explain it like that, what you can do is you can ask ChatGPT to summarize it for you. And you can even do it in the style of. This brings me to the bonus points. Now, as promised, here are the two bonus prompts that will help you to prompt even more effectively. Number one is to give your ChatGPT a role. Act like a school teacher and provide them with a curriculum for my homeschooling children. Da 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 da. You go into more context. Act like a gardener and help me to grow vegetables in da 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 da. You go into more context. You can even go as far as act like a school teacher and provide me a curriculum in the style of, and you can mention a few teachers that you have maybe found online that are popular and you want ChatGPT to actually give you the curriculum based in this style. So that can be very effective. You also want to teach it to maybe have an, an imagination or imaginationary role imagine it is friday afternoon and i'm sitting in my office or you are sitting in your office da 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 go more into context so those are little things that makes a massive output a massive good output on your content yeah. the last one is to ask qualifying questions now this is important because ChatGPT needs more context and to get more context from you it needs to ask you qualifying questions. So let's stick to the curriculum idea. Act like a teacher, provide me a curriculum for a six and a 10 year old based on blah, 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 blah. And you give it context in the style of da, 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 da. And then you can add to that and say, please ask me any qualifying questions based on what I have just asked you. And then it will ask you a bunch of questions that you need to answer. And then the output on that is just next level amazing. And I hope this is helpful. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give this video a thumbs up, share it with people that need to see this. And most importantly, stay ethically and authentically with your AI. I'll see you in the next video.